Roblox has a new animal roleplay game in development called Canine Odyssey, and I was given early access to talk about it. Hello everyone, I'm Lars, and I'm just letting you know that this video will be a giant summary of everything we know so far, and will be answering questions before my next video, which will be me playing the game whilst giving live commentary and finding bugs, so keep an eye out for that. But with that mini disclaimer out the way, let's begin with... What is Canine Odyssey? While some gameplay footage plays in the background, I'll introduce the game for new viewers and recap for older viewers. Canine Odyssey is a roleplay game being developed on the Roblox platform. It is not available to the public just yet and applications for quality assurance, aka game testing, positions are not open right now. I will be answering more questions to the best of my ability throughout the video, so be sure to stick around for some answers. But for now, let's get back to talking about the game itself. As you might have figured from the footage playing on screen and the game's name itself, Canine Odyssey will focus on canines, and not just the domestic kinds. The primary focal point of the game will of course be pet dogs, but as you play the game you gain access to Canada members. If you are unaware, Canada is the name of a biological family of dog-like carnivorans, which includes animals like foxes, wolves, coyotes, and more. But you could just call them wild doggies if you'd like. We currently do not have any developmental related images of the wild doggies, but from previous screenshots we can hope for the coyote, grey wolf, red fox, and some unusual ones like the pot cake wolf, doll, and maned wolf. You can unlock these guys and breeds of domestic dog with the in-game currency called treats. Hearing that there'll be in-game currency might cause some eyes to roll, and for an understandable reason, but let me explain why it isn't all bad. If you aren't sure why people dislike in-game currency, specifically in roleplay games, is that if not balanced properly, then a player might have to intensely focus for hours just to get a little bit of currency or progress to save up for their very expensive item. This is typically called grinding and plagues a lot of games. But in-game currency and the like being balanced well gives a great sense of achievement, progression and a reason to log in frequently, therefore causing there to be a higher concurrent player count which is greatly beneficial for the developers, helps the game in the Roblox algorithm, and you have more potential roleplay partners in game. Also, how you get treats is just by playing the game, logging in, or buying them with Robux if you want to do that. There will definitely be free content like the starter dogs, but for more uncommon breeds and animals, they will cost treats. Honestly, if you're wrapped up in a good roleplay, you'll gain treats just by being in the game, so you'll save up for the thing you want in no time. But speaking about the starter dogs, the dogs 100% confirmed to be in the game at launch are the Great Dane, Shiba Inu, German Shepherd, American Pitbull, and the Doberman Pinscher. The first three will be free, but the other two you'll have to use treats. The reason why I said 100% confirmed for those dogs is that although there are TikToks made by the game's developers briefly showing dog breed names, and people are making their own lists, no dog breeds except the ones I said earlier are set in stone. The dog breeds we've seen could completely be removed and replaced with new ones, so just keep that in mind. And for now, that's all I have to say about the dog breeds in specific, so let's move on to... Running around on a grey base plate would be rather boring, so I'll briefly show you the completed locations the map currently has. Keep in mind, everything is still in progress, and there'll be some secret locations that I won't spoil, as they'll be for another video. First up, the lobby. This is where your dog spawns, and is said by Wobbix to basically be a type of doggy heaven, at least in aesthetic. It's really pretty and fun to run around in. Next, the dump. The dump is an abandoned junkyard area where evidence of a chemical fallout is prevalent. People are trying to piece together the story, but it's popularly theorized that the lack of humans has something to do with the radiation or dangerous chemical leakage, but surprisingly the dogs are still around. The last location I want to show is Little Barn. It is an abandoned farm area with a barn that is still standing being the main feature. I can already tell that this is going to be a popular spot since there's a lot of places they take photos and there's quite a bit of space to run around in. The area also has a secret location hidden within it. And those are the areas closest to being finished. I'm sure there will be more locations in the future, but those are the ones I wanted to talk about as those are the most completed. Before I answer the big question relating to the game's release, I'm going to answer these questions first, though keep in mind everything I say is subject to change. Can I be a developer? Currently the game has two developers and are not looking for more. Can I be a moderator or game tester? 
K9 Odyssey does not need moderators or game testers right now, but if they do, they will announce it. Will the game have animals other than dogs? Besides members in the Canada family, probably not. Is the game focusing on fantasy or realism? You can choose either option, which is great to hear. Will there be accessories? Yes, there will definitely be accessories, and I'll be covering customization in my next video. I didn't show it here because it's not really done yet, so I didn't want to talk about it in depth. How many and what dog breeds will there be? There is no set in stone list, but I'm estimating there will be more than 10 dog breeds at the game's full completion. Is this game inspired by Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition or another fandom? No. K9 Odyssey is set in its own story and world. And please stop comparing it to Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition. They're literally not similar besides the fact they're both roleplay games focusing on animals. Not every animal game is a clone of that game. Animal roleplay games have existed before it. Thank you. And now onto the big one. When is the game going to be released? There were dates said previously, but when a game is so early in development like this, dates are estimations at best and not set in stone. Right now there is no solid release date, but private testing has recently begun, so we might see public access in the next 6 months, but that is just a semi-educated guess. If you'd like to keep up with the game's development, you can join their Roblox or Discord server. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like more video updates. Like I briefly said earlier, there are some things I didn't cover like customization, growth stages, all the map locations and more, and that's because they're not ready enough to be talked about in depth yet and might change drastically by the time this video is published. But the next video will be more of a relaxed gameplay video instead of an informative one, so if you'd like to see more of the game in its more raw state, I'd wait for that video to come out. But yeah, remember to stay kind, awesome, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye